to systematically analyze acid-base disorders, we start by looking at the pH to figure out if the patient is acidemic, alkalemic or in the normal range. Then we identify the primary disorder, whether it is respiratory or metabolic by examining how the pH, PaCO2 and bicarbonate levels relate to each other. If it turns out to be respiratory issue, we then check whether it is acute or chronic by comparing the actual pH change to the expected compensation. For example, in acute respiratory acidosis, the pH drops about 0.08 units for every 10 mm mercury increase in PaCO2, while in chronic cases, it only drops around 0.03 units because the kidneys have time to compensate. Next, we assessed whether the compensation is appropriate. If it is not, that might point to mixed disorder. Keep in mind, respiratory disorders are compensated by kidneys adjusting bicarbonate while the metabolic disorders are compensated by lungs adjusting carbon dioxide through changes in breathing. And if you are dealing with metabolic acidosis, we calculate the anion gap to figure out what kind of acidosis it is. We'll go deeper into each of these steps later in this video.